Boredom has such a bad rap and it is so not fair because actually boredom is integral to some of our best thinking. And it's actually interesting what we know about boredom and mind wandering. So I like to think of boredom as the gateway to our original ideas. We are at an amazing moment when it comes to neuroscience and understanding what happens with our brain's networks. And when I ask neuroscientists, you know, what happens when our mind wanders? What happens is your brain ignites a network called the default mode. And in the default mode, do amazing things. We come up with our most original ideas. We take two separate concepts and we smash them together to create something new. We do something that I had never heard of called autobiographical planning. This is where we look back at our lives, we take note of the highs and the lows, and we build our personal narrative, our theory of self. What is our story and where is it going to go next? we look ahead into the future. That's one of the main things we do in the default mode. And we say, well, where am I going and how am I going to get there? We can't ignite or tap that brain power when we're constantly tapping a screen. It's using a very different part of our brain. There's kind of this big debate going on right now as to whether or not we are addicted to our technology. I prefer not to use that term because addiction makes it sound like something we can quit. and. We can't quit our technology. We don't want to. It's wonderful. It, it, it connects us to people, to ideas, to information. But what we need to understand is that if we're going to have these powerful tools in our pockets or in the near future embedded in everything around us, we need to start teaching and cultivating in ourselves this idea of self-regulation. I think that we're all finding that our relationship with our technology is not as simple as on or off. It is a spectrum and we have to find where it fits into our lives and only you can do that for you. But where I think the book and the challenge Born and Brilliant helps is it tells you that this has worked for other people. It gives you ideas, ways to try it. It gives you stories of what people discovered and also it gives you data and science that back up all of these ideas. We're learning more about where technology fits into our lives. And one of the things I've really discovered is that boredom is important. The best place for it is probably the bathtub, right? Call it the default mode area for your kid, whatever you need to do. These are important things. They're what make us human. And we don't want to give that up.